Hey everyone, Tony here from Bikeberry. It's good to see you. If you notice, I got the bullet train behind me. Last video, what we did is we got it all set up, mounted on the bike. I'm pretty happy where the electronics went, the engine mounted, the battery mount. It's all pretty good. So I feel really good about the install. The thing we have now is to get the electronics all hooked up. Let's roll. First off, we have our electrical box. There's color-coded wires in here that come from all the components in the electrical box. So you have the relay, electronic ignition, and then your CDI, okay? So you have these color-coded wires, color-coded wires from our throttle grip, which is engine start. That wire runs down. I ran it around the frame, and we're gonna tuck it nicely in here, okay? Then this spot here that you see is gonna hold that bundle of wires. Then the other wires come from the engine. These are really more color code wires and a black booted uh, connector that's gonna go on your relay in here. This comes from your throttle. It's got a fuse in it. Uh, this is gonna be your relay. So the black boot, let's hold them up together here. Your black boot and your red boot are gonna go on the relay. And then this goes on to the battery, and then we have a green ground wire that's grounded to the engine that goes to the battery. Let's start by taking the relay out of here. What you can see is, is there's a wire out of the top of it. So we have our right side and our left side. What you wanna do is this wire with the red boot on it goes on the right side. Like that. We'll leave it kind of loose so we can adjust some things. Then we have this black boot, okay, which this goes, the other end of this goes on to the positive terminal of the battery. Okay, see that? There's a good image of it. Wire, red, black. So what you want to do is you want to view it this way, that wire there, this hanging down, so the red hanging down, the black hanging down, because then everything's gonna be sideways and your wires can exit out here. Perfect. Slide the boots up and over. That way you don't get, because this is directly connected to your battery. It's your relay for starting. I think they did the different boots just to uh, differentiate the two. There we go. Boy, that was a tough little dude. But that's what you want it to look like, okay? So I put the bolts back in. This thing is mounted permanently in there again. You can see that, and you can see the wires are pointing up. That means they can go out the slot on the side. See that? But we got that out of the way. Let's focus on the cluster of wires that we need to connect, the color-coded wires. So you can see that there's some coming from here. In the box you can see that there's some coming in here from your throttle then you can see some coming from here from your engine okay so what we have is we have two yellow ones we're just going to put those with these two yellow ones see how they have the same ends so we'll plug those in you can hear them click in there click click right then we have a black one with a red stripe Get that guy in there. Then we have blue and green. And if you notice, these blue and green have double wires. So you'll notice that uh, another one's gonna plug into here. So but we'll get the first one started. There's green on green, blue on blue. Check that out, okay? So then if we go over here in this bundle, a whole bunch of wires, huh? So if you look at behind this sleeve, there's green and red, and in this bundle is green and red. It has this locking connector. We'll do that, okay? And then, let's get this other plug. So then here's the orange and yellow. Okay, orange and yellow, right? Pull all the remainder ones out the front here. Then what we have is this connector, and we have the green and blue, which go over here. 
This blue wire is pretty short. Let's get the green one first. Okay, got green on green, blue on blue. All right. So we're gonna stuff all that in there. Okay, so that one's the final one that goes in here. I'm gonna do a zip tie. I already did one zip tie, but I'll do another one. Let's get the whole bundle together. Whoever invented zip ties is so awesome. All right, we got that in there. We got that in there. Looks like everything stayed connected. We got it shoved in here. We can tuck things in and around. We do have some room when the lid is closed, so that's a pretty big box. There's some snap tabs in here. Two of them, get those closed. Look at, okay. So if you see, we've got four wires coming out of here. <laughs> it's quite a bit, huh? Make some sense out of it here, okay? But really the only ends we have left, or end we have left, is the battery terminal. So in my case here on this particular bike, I'm gonna take the uh, spark plug wire and make it go so everything goes behind it. That way I can go, you know, get everything mounted to the tube, the down tube. So we'll put the spark plug wire back on. So zip tie it down, because we don't want stuff touching the hot engine. So you can see running the battery terminal wire down the frame here. Then we'll take zip ties and we'll tighten these up so they're not hanging down. So you can see how clean we have everything coming out of there, tied to the frame, going down, and then we have our battery down here. But it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I'm loving the look of this, uh, this bike. It's uh, making me think of like, I don't know, military kind of a commuter. I don't know, let me know what you guys think of its overall style and appearance and, and use, you know, I'm thinking like heavy duty electric start engine, you know, very opposite of the, Hey, let's make it look and go fast. <laughs> like most of them that we build, right? Guess the word utilitarian comes to mind. So more utilitarian need cargo racks on the back. Don't we? It's pretty cool. So if you look on the bottom of the engine here, there's a bolt that's sticking out this back side, that's where you bolt on your grounding wire. So these two terminals are the only ones that you want touching the battery. None of the other terminals. That's why I saved it for last and showed the complete hookup. Uh, so what we're going to do is you can see on the battery that it has a red here and then the black. So your positive and your negative and they're identified right on the top of the the battery, see, positive, negative. Our green is ground, which is negative. Our red, you can see that little bit of red right there. That's our positive, okay? So we're gonna just really bolt them on there and make sure that they lay in, the wires lay in there nice so that when we put the uh, cap on it like that, then the wires come out that slot. So what I tend to do is use the bolt a lock washer, then go into the terminal like that, because then you can push into it in here, and then just straight up nut. Mostly because it's such a tight tolerant spot, it's really hard to get too many washers and stuff in there. And same for this side. I do bolt, lock washer, terminal, then the nut goes in here. So we got our negative and our positive. What we're going to do is we're going to put our cover on because we don't want any sparks to fly while we get it mounted in our, our holder. 
we know that can happen, right? So there we go. And we'll mount it straight into our holder. I just bend these out, set it in there this way. Okay, so get your battery box mounted. And I ran the wires over the top and I zip tied them so then basically my pedals won't interfere, but I can still see everything. What I'll end up doing once I do my test is I'll do wire loom and I'll make this a little bit cleaner. But this is my testing ground. Everything's out of the way. It's not gonna get caught on anything. It's not gonna get hot on the muffler. It's safe, everything's safe. There's clearance for the tire. Uh, it's good. I think eventually I may move it to, you know, build like a rack back here. Maybe put my battery there or I'll build some of the, you know, the cargo bags or something like that on the side and put my battery in there. I don't know yet. It's again, it's going to be a utilitarian kind of build. So I think those things will come to me as I, you know, move along with the build. Uh, but this is a good start. It allows me to see the wiring uh just to get testing done because that's where our next move is is to get all the testing but overall if you look at it our box looks nice and clean our wires come out of it they're tied tight to the frame they're not going to touch the exhaust or anything they run down to the battery the battery's in a safety box with this plastic housing it's really rigid it's not going to go anywhere so i'm not concerned about it i know people said in the comments of the last video oh it's so dangerous and it uh, I think it's fine. It's not a permanent home for me because I don't like the look of it, but this is good testing. Before we go, let's do one quick little test. Don't forget, we have Black Friday deals all month. Every week is a new set of deals, okay? So when you see what we're going to start putting on the website is different deals for the full week. Once that week is gone, those deals go away then new deals come in every single week. And so the cool thing is at the end of it all, all of the deals, right? At the end of the month, all of the deals uh, are gonna be shown on the site. But I did talk to the manager in the warehouse and I was like, hey, how's it going? I know we've sold quite a bit of stuff. He's a little concerned that we're not gonna have enough quantity. So the best time to buy something is when you see it. So it's there's hundreds of dollars off on some items. So. It's awesome. So anyway, thank you for watching. Go wire up your uh, bullet train just like I did. And let's start testing. Take care. Whoa. Holy smokes. Start it up right away.